Oh, that's all right. I still have time for my bath. What? Are you the only one you think about? No. I've been thinking about this ducky for quite some time now. Since Thomas has lost his marbles, he won't be needing it. So come on, help me out with that bath. <gasps> oh, great. <laughs> come in. I did. I see. And who are you? You remember me. I am Melvin, that slightly odd wise man who shows up every so often to tell you things. Ah, yes. Well, what is it? I have to tell you a little story. Not now. I'm going to go take a bath. Come back at bedtime. It's important. Oh, okay. What's that? It's a flannel graph to illustrate. Ooh, flannel graph. There once was a man, a very rich man. He had a lot of sheep. He had a lot of land. He threw a lot of parties. He was dapper. He was tan. Yes, there once was a very rich man. Okay, great story. I'll uh, see you next time. Uh... Wait just a minute. My story isn't done. It's about two men, and I've only mentioned one. Oh. There once was a man, a very poor man. He had next to nothing, just a little lamb. But he loved it like a son, and he fed it from his hand. Yes, there once was a very poor man. Then one day, there was a guest at the house of the rich man. What did he do? Have you guessed to feed the guest of the rich man? Well, let's see. He had plenty of sheep, so he could just share one of his sheep. Not a problem. He took the lamb of the poor man. He took the lamb of the poor man. The rich man took to feed his guest the very, very poor man's lamb. What? Is that a, is this a true story? As surely as I stand before you today, my story is true. Who is that man? Tell me. To take the lamb of the poor man, when he had lots of sheep of the poor man only had one. Man! For his cruelty, he will spend the rest of his days locked in my dungeon. Who is he? Oh, King George. 